Today I'm going to be doing a brake system flush on my 2020 Ford Ranger. Uh, Ford recommends every 30,000 miles to flush the brake system. So that's what we're going to do. Step one, take the cap off of the reservoir. Step two, I just took a $3 turkey baster from Walmart uh, in a jar. You can put the baster down into the reservoir as far as you can. There's a strainer in there though, so you can only get down to about between the maximum and minimum level in the reservoir, but sucked as much of the old fluid out. As you can see, it's a yellowish color. Uh, it'll The new brake fluid will be good or be clear. Um, we're going to use Valvoline dot four brake fluid, which is what's recommended. And then I'll just use a small funnel and we will go ahead and we'll fill the reservoir up to the maximum level with new fluid. And then we'll go to the next step. So now I've topped off the brake fluid. Uh, one thing to note is since the new fluid is clear, it's very difficult to see exactly where the level is. And I've got it to the max level, but I advise looking down into the, uh, the reservoir just to see where the fluid level is at, just to make sure that you're in good shape. You definitely don't want to let it run out uh, during our bleed process. Uh, so also one other thing to note is brake fluid is very caustic to car paint. So do what you can to, to protect your car paint and not drip any brake fluid on it. For the next step, we jacked up the truck, put jack stand under the axle, remove the wheel, plug nuts are 19 millimeters, use my air wrench for that. Uh, the next step after that then is behind here on our brake caliper, you can see there's our, our drain. Uh, re release that, open that with a 7 16 inch uh, wrench, and I believe that's 11 millimeter equivalent. First, though, I had to remove this small black cover that was on the, the end of that and just use a small screwdriver just to, to pry that off. And uh, to loosen it just a little bit, then put the hose on for. This device, which I really like, got it for 15 bucks on Amazon. It's a one-man brake bleeder. I put some fluid in the bottom of this already, what I had drained off the top of the reservoir. So I want to be sure that this hose goes clear down to the bottom and is covered um, with brake fluid because we don't want to draw any air back into the brake system when we pump the brakes. So the next step will be to pump the brakes and flush the fluid through until we start seeing clear fluid. We'll have to continue. We'll do that in cycles of three, three pumps, refill the reservoir, check this reservoir to see if the fluid coming out is switched from amber to clear. And now we'll pump the brakes from inside. Vehicle's turned off all the way to the floor. Depress, let it come back all the way to the floor again and then a third time now we'll add a little more fluid to our reservoir and now we'll check our drain reservoir you see there's no air in the line um, it's still an amber color though so we're going to continue this cycle until we start seeing clear fluid coming down through the line. And we started with the right rear because you want to do your furthest away uh, wheel first, then we'll move our way to the left rear, then we'll move our way to the right front, and finally do the left front. So we'll repeat that for all, all four wheels. Just continue this pump, fill, check cycle until we are happy with uh, the, 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 we've got the clear fluid coming through all the lines. So you can see now we've pumped enough fluid through that we've got a clear color coming in to our, our drain reservoir, whereas everything else is more of an amber color. So at this point, we will tighten this nut back here uh, and put our little rubber cap back on it. And then we'll put on our wheel, tighten it, lower it, torque it to 100 foot-pounds with our torque wrench. Uh, one other note though is the first caliper that you bleed will have a lot more fluid coming from it because the brake reservoir still had a lot of fluid in it. So it has to bleed it as well as everything aligned to that particular caliper. So the calipers after that will take much less 
uh, fluid before you start seeing the clear come through. A couple of helpful tips. Um, put down some paper or something below where you're going to, to drain just to kind of help keep your garage floor clean. Um, also, it's a good time to inspect your brake pad. You can look through here on the caliper to see the back pad looks pretty good. Up here on the front, front pad, it's still got some decent pad on it as well. Another tip, um, before you put your hose on here, you'll want to be sure and get up here and break loose your drain. As soon as you get that broke loose, then get your hose on there pretty quick because it's going to start leaking fast. So anyway, just a couple of uh, couple helpful tips. Next step will be to tighten the lugs with the air gun. We'll do a star pattern here, 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 here. Then we move to the torque wrench, have it set at 100 pounds, we'll do the same star pattern. And then I just take another pass around just for good measure. Okay, we've topped off the reservoir to the max level. Seal it up. A um, Couple of closing thoughts. It did take me, I bought two 32 ounce um, containers of brake fluid. I believe the capacity is about 40 ounces, but I tend to probably bleed a little further than I had to just to make sure I got the lines good and clear. Can't emphasize enough, you do not want to be sure and go under this minimum level on your reservoir when you're pumping. So be sure and check often um, because otherwise you get air in your lines and you'll have to kind of start over again with this whole process. Thanks for watching.